So when we started looking at Mac, obviously 256 is a tremendous amount of players. But we wanted to make you feel as part of that large-scale battle, but we also wanted you to feel like you could influence the battle, so you're not just a cog in the machine. So to do that, we really tried to tap into our command system and break the battlefield down into a lot of opportunities for smaller-scale skirmishes. So you can feel kind of that eight-on-eight eight squad based combat. And as you play more, you start to understand how all those eight-on-eight eight battles start to work together to create this larger experience. This isn't a game where simply everyone gets an icon on the field and they just charge for it and try and take the objective. There is a layer of command and control where players can go up the ranks and have more and more influence in terms of setting the objectives, providing support for their squads, their platoons, and basically allows players to have a greater sense of responsibility and effect on the larger battle at hand. A lot of games give you the ability to chat, which is great. We have that support as well, and that's how players really coordinate and act. They okay, head to the objective on the left. Flanking left, got it. But we also have enough tools built into the game that without any kind of chatting, I can point to an objective, a bridge, a gate, a bunker, and give all my squad mates an instruction, hey guys, go take that out. They'll all hear the VO and they'll have a visual indication of the world of what to go do. Destroy that bunker. Now, the battle you're about to watch is a Raven assault on a severed fuel depot. CJ Heine, MAG's lead level designer, is acting as our squad leader today. CJ's squad of eight, along with other three squads in his platoon, must secure a forward landing zone and push forward to the heart of the enemy facility. CJ's gonna use another one of his command abilities. He's gonna call in a cluster bomb to clear the enemy off this wall and secure the point so his team can push forward and hit the heart of this facility. Commanded control is something more tactical and strategic. With a lot of first-person shooters, you'll go out there, you're very much wanting to get experience points to boost your character, and certainly we have that. But we also have the ability for you to boost your points and to gain influence in the game to become a respected leader. And by being in that role, allow your side to be more successful by commanding and controlling the pace of battle as it plays out. Thank you.